Today, we're doing an artifact scam box session. If you haven't played Genshin in a while, with Fontaine's release, they added all the artifacts from Inazuma and Inazuma's post-patch content, which includes Emblem, which is the set we're going to be going into in the artifact scam box for the sole purpose of affecting my Raiden Shogun and making her even better than she currently is. Because right now, the build's pretty good, but it can be better. It's not like a strict parrot. Do better. And the main purpose is we're going to go into the artifact scam box, we're going to spend all the fodder artifacts I have that I've cultivated, and we're going to hope and pray to the RNG god that I get some good pieces for her that are better than what I currently have. Which is already a tough thing because if you look at some of my pieces on my writing, flower, amazing, feather, pretty really amazing, hat. But then you look at my sands and it looks like a joke. And as well as my cup, it's nice. But I would like electro damage bonus considering that I have engulfing lightning on her. I don't know how many runs we're gonna go into. I forgot how many artifacts I have. I think it's around like 300 something. I don't know. But we're gonna see if we get something good from that. But before we do it, this video is sponsored by Loot Bar GG. I shall now buy each of you watching a free cookie. Loot Bar GG is a platform that allows users to recharge in game currency for a variety of games such as Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail at a discounted price. Loot Bar GG not only offers safe, secure, and fast payments that only require your server region and account you ID for purchases, but said purchases are done through Mihoyo's official payment route. Furthermore, they are backed up by legitimate and reliable sources to ensure that your payments are done safely. Loot Bar GG supports international payments and offers affordable pricing, offering a 20% cost advantage for in-game purchases. So if you're interested, check my link in the description where new users can get a 5% off coupon if first purchased on the platform. Thank you to Loot Bar GG for sponsoring, and let's get back to the first send. For a second, I thought I put in the wrong artifact. All right, wait, it locks something here. Okay, first artifact of the day. This will decide our fate. <laughs> you can't make this up. But I would like electro damage though. That's the thing. This is trash, 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 bruh. I don't want to. <sighs> My Yunjin's already fine. I don't need another piece to replace it. Dog, dog, dog. Usable, I guess. We support usable. Okay, we got something. We can roll that piece, I think. Can I replace this over here? All right, send it. What happened? <laughs> okay, so let's just, um, let's break it down a bit. It rolled into every stat, but it rolled into defense twice. Thanos piece. I don't think anyone would use this piece. Am I silly to get rid of it? It's not even 30 CV. We're getting rid of it. Yeah, it had potential and it just ruined it. All right, second wave. All right, pretty dog water. Okay, also dog. Okay, god damn, you are. Holy damn. You, you, damn. What is, oh my god. Bruh, okay. No one who uses Emblem could also run EM unless on their sands, like with Shang Ling. Potential? No, forget potential pieces. Frick you. So far, we had something that had potential. Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves. Like with this piece, for example. That is like a nightmare to see. Ew. I mean, no, I don't want to roll that. Wait, that's pretty good. We'll keep that. That's pretty good. These pieces are good, but I'm trying to replace my current Raiden's pieces. That was universal, though. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's true. Piece we just rolled. Here it was. I see you. It rolled every stat again. Don't roll defense. Don't do what. Well, don't do it again. Okay, thank God. Jeez. All right, it's usable. We got so we got a usable piece for someone. It's not bad. I could probably equip. I could probably my Beto could definitely use it. Actually, hold up. Wait, this, this is meant to be a Raiden video. Why is Beto getting upgrade, bro? All right. Let's see. Uh, no. No. Nope. Potential. Well, I got a crit damage hat from before. I completely forgot about that piece. That also has potential. Mm, nah. Hold on. I completely forgot about that crit damage piece. Technically, if it rolls really well, my writing could actually be put on a crit damage hat. If it rolls like crazy into crit rate. What in the absolute frick? Yeah, forget this piece. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> forget it. We're done. Nice plus four. Stop it. <laughs> Right, let's see. It's like they have some decent pieces, but it's like, it's not good enough. It's like I'm suffering from success. Like, this is good. I'll keep that. That, that has potential. Let's see. So far, nothing crazy. Let's roll that feather. We also had a, a hat from before. So we, had a, we had another piece. I'm like losing track of the pieces I'm getting. I need to roll them right away if I get, if I get them. Are you joking? Who's trying to troll me? Do you see this? What, what is this? I mean, it could be a Yunjin piece, but I'll need energy recharge. Would she need this? Yeah, she could. We'll plus 20 just for her. Okay, this is kind of annoying me. We're meant to make a video about upgrading Raiden, but we're upgrading other characters instead. Oh my god. Hey, real quick, that's fine. It's a, it's a nice Yunjin upgrade, I guess. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> upgrade to a character that isn't Raiden. whoop de doo The first time we got the opportunity to cook something, we burnt it. It did not cook. I mean, this could potentially replace my current hat. If it unlocks something and then rolls everything else into crit damage, then there's hope. Otherwise, this is a bust. 
It's already a bust. If it doesn't roll crit damage here, it's a bust. Actually, no, wait, what's going It's a bust. All right, cool. Round, I don't know. Just please give me an upgrade. Please, please. I can't do the suffering anymore. Quack. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. This is this is bruh. Okay, and for those watching are probably thinking, these pieces are so good. Why aren't you rolling them? See, while they're good, don't get me wrong. My riding, as I showed you from before, has already great pieces and good at most with this and this. So we're not looking for good. We're looking for amazingness. We're looking for the best. That's what we're looking for. That's the reason why I'm following most pieces and not caring about them. Alright. Let's try again. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Oh my god. Bruh. Wait, look. This is, this is, this is, this is, this did. I just, yeah. I mean, we'll keep it, I guess. That's potential. No. 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 Oh my god. It's a three liner. Okay, fine. We'll keep that piece. Um, I guess we'll roll you. Wait, so we got this, and then we got, uh, what was the other piece? A flower and a feather. Okay, cool. I'm trying to upgrade a sand and a. F I, I can't. I can't. <sighs> if it doesn't roll crit rate, I am bothering with it. All right, I am bothering with it. Oh my God, this ain't it. We also got this though. Maybe it could roll like something really cool. Let's see. There's some hope in this piece, I think. Plus 16, let's see what it cooks. Not bad, not bad at all. It did a low roll into crit rate, but it's still pretty good. You broke my hopes and dreams. You could have rolled into crit rate, but you ruined it. But it's still a pretty decent piece, but not an upgrade to Raiden's current feather. Cause are you kidding me, bro? It's meant to be a session where I upgrade my Raiden's pieces, specifically her uh, ER Sands and her Goblet. And what are we getting instead? Freaking upgrades for like Beidou or like Yunjin. Oh, we got some blocks. That means they're pretty good pieces. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty ass. <laughs> we got some hope. There's hope to potentially surpass what I currently am possessing. That also looks pretty good. Let's see what you can do. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what you can do. Crit damage roll, please. Wait, is it better than my current piece? Wait, so let's compare. My current piece has more crit rate, more crit damage, but the difference is I have attack on my current one. This one has ER. I am basically sacrificing minus stats for some energy recharge. My Raiden's already over capping on ER. It technically only needs like 240 and above because I have engulfing lightning. Without engulfing lightning, you need 270 if you have emblem. Now, it's not a bad thing to overcap on ER with Raiden. It's not the end of the world. You're still getting electro damage bonus. Either way, in my position, it's better for me just to stay on this piece because I gain attack. I don't don't need any more ER and I also lose crit rate damage. I will take that. We got an upgrade for another character that isn't Raiden because he he. This has to unironically roll 40 crit value. Otherwise, I, I am bothering with this. Okay. Okay. If it rolls all into crit damage, it's an upgrade. Oh no. <laughs> it had hope. It had potential. What the fuck is this piece? <laughs> As you can see, this crit rate is fucking insane. I'm keeping this piece just for flexing reasons. However, I lose crit damage, which is the only problem. The defense will roll screwdriver over. Yeah, it fucked me over. If I rolled crit damage into this piece, holy shit, it'd be insane. It's not an upgrade in my opinion. I gain stats I don't need, and I lose stats I also would like to have still. Another potential piece? Oh, it got a lock. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> lock your door? Huh? There's no way. Th th there's no way. You ready, boys? Let's do it. Hmm. Wait, is it an upgrade to my current piece? It's better, by like a little bit. I lose ER, but it's fine. Hey, we got an upgrade. We own five emblem, by the way, which is like the biggest flex I can give. Let's let's run that Hydro Goblet one. That, that Hydro one is pretty interesting. All right, let's see what we can roll. Pretty good signature upgrade from what I currently had. That is all my fodder artifacts. <laughs> Maybe bad for not strongboxing emblem. Well, I mean, strongbox in general is like good to do if you bomb artifacts a crap ton and your end game and you don't have any desperation for like EXP. But as you probably see, I only got one minor upgrade to my Raiden, which was getting an electro damage bonus goblet. I think the emblem goblet is huge. The, em the emblem goblet is a huge upgrade, I think, because I need electro damage because attack was already like fine for me. But with engulfing lightning, I already have enough attack. Like, Look, I already have near 2k attack, and if I ult, let's see if I, I wonder if I ult. I got up to nearly 2k, which is fine. But if I run like an attack buffer like Kujosara or Bennett, I got up to 2k. We spent like 300 artifacts to get one upgrade to my Raiden. So, uh, was it worth it? Hold on, I just remember something that's pretty funny. So, I, when I bought coffee from like this coffee shop, well, it was like a coffee, like a mini coffee brand. I ended up putting salt in my coffee instead of sugar by accident. Let me explain. So, when I, when I bought this, like this coffee, I don't like buying coffee when I'm like out to uni because I'd rather have it at home. Today, I, I didn't have time. So, I was like, okay, I'll just get one. 
one so i went to go and buy it and then there's like a place where you can put sugar and salt and stuff and there was just a jar that said like some random stuff and i saw sugar now it didn't specify what it was it didn't specify if it was salt or sugar so i was like okay it must be sugar then because like why would they put like this is a coffee sh like this place it does sell food what would you put what would you put salt on in this place like yeah so i put it in my co my caffeine you know no problem whatsoever i mix it and i go off on my day and i'm like ha i get to have a nice refreshing beverage that wakes me up while i'm in my lesson i drink it and it tastes bitter and i'm like huh caffeine is bitter yeah i'm talking like salty bitter and i'm like wait what why, why does it taste salty after like 10 seconds it kicked in that i potentially put salt in my coffee instead of sugar there's no way I, the jar i used which i thought was sugar was actually salt this entire time ain't no way